And the sculpture is constructed of hundreds and hundreds of granite paving stones, which are very similar to the paving stones that paved the streets of Newport and other European and American cities in the 18th century. But the paving stones also are a memory of revolution, of paving stones hurled and barricades breached. This project was especially important for the Redwood to embark upon in order to face its own complex and contradictory histories of slavery. We asked uh, Pascal Martin Tayou to engage with the histories of the Redwood. What he ultimately decided to do was to create a monument to a long forgotten slave site, uh, which was once the largest slave market in Cameroon, a market called Bimbia. And the name of the installation is therefore Remember Bimbia. But one thing that seemed clear to many people was that the mooring of the American flag in this rubble made this an American history. It moored American past and American future to uh, various histories, many of which have not been acknowledged. However, the artist, Pascal Martin Tayou, was very clear to try and inscribe slavery not as a local or a national uh, history, but really as a global history that we all share. And so in this respect, he chose to divert attention away from the specific histories of the Redwood and of Newport and of Rhode Island, which was so heavily involved in the trade and enslaved people, and rather to redirect our attention to the west coast of Africa to a market in Cameroon where he grew up as a way for us to think about a shared legacy. So ultimately the message of this sculpture uh, for many people was quite celebratory and positive because it's a celebration of revolution, it's a celebration of change from below, it's a celebration of the crowd and of the power of people to topple regimes, um, of dictatorship and uh, immoral institutions such as slavery. Um, but it's also a, a monument to, um, to the way in which people tend to forget about history and to the way in which it constantly needs to be revisited and returned.